Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to set up um, the MC for uh, rotating actuators. Um, first of all, make sure you have the latest uh, firmware, 2.11.6.5. Uh, and then you have to reset the controller to make sure everything is... Uh, so hold the exit and press the reset to restore defaults. I have a motor connected here, I'll just calibrate it. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to change uh, the number of axes, of course, six. And actuator type from linear to rotary. Now, uh, let's go to change um, the degrees on everything so the angles you want to achieve it's gonna be 180 right and uh, we'll do same values for now uh, the pulses per revolution, um, you can leave that uh, as default. Then the rotation, I'll leave that for now. Everything is the same. Now the reduction uh, rate, we need to change that uh, to the rotation of the gearbox. Uh, 50 to 1, for example, if you have uh, such a uh, gearbox. Okay, all right, now, um, now we change all this, I'm gonna go back and uh, change the rotation, uh, the first one will be uh, counterclockwise, for example, and then I'm gonna change to do individual ones. Okay, so uh, to change between uh, each actuator, you have to remove that a little bit for the light, like this. You can press the buttons left and right. Okay, so I'm going to change uh, actuator to Be cutter clockwise, so there to clockwise, cutter clockwise, clockwise, cutter clockwise. Okay, so save that as the individual ones. So now, if you go through each one, you'll see that. There are clockwise, cutter clockwise, clockwise, cutter clockwise, etc. Okay. Uh, now the rest uh, should all have the same settings. That's why I said to leave the same so you don't have to do individual one settings for each one of these. And the same with this. And the same with this will have all the same settings there all right that, uh, that's it pretty much if you want you can uh, uh, change the pulse filter so it's not so um, You have activated the uh, motor. Um, right, so what else? Back motors. Oh, yeah, the rotation offset. 
you can change that to one degree so when it starts it will stop right uh, on the hard stop or the sensor you can install uh, so let me put it on one degree all right now let me reset controller and i'll show you here how it's calibrating now now the first one it's calibrating counterclockwise and as soon as it stops it's it's not moving forward too much it's just moving one degree if uh, the second motor for example you'll see it'll try to calibrate clockwise all right the third one will calibrate other clockwise and the other one clockwise and so on okay So, yeah, that's it. And a few other little settings, uh, like platform check, if uh, any of the motors, for example, um, it's disconnected, um, meaning, uh, uh, for example, uh, my given error, you can, uh, let me go back here. If any of this, for example, is disconnected, it won't start, it will stay uh, parked. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching.